Okay, so I just saw that uh, writing net ionic equations has, has topped the list right now. Writing net ionic equations. So I already prepared a whiteboard with that. Let's come over here and let's look at that. The following chemical uh, reaction takes place in aqueous solution. Okay, what does that mean? Aqueous solution. So let me come over here and get a different color. So aqueous means, wait, right here you have silver fluoride. And what that means, if it's aqueous, what that means is you have silver, which is in solution, right, by itself, and fluoride, which is hydrated, right, by itself, because it's aqueous. That's what that means, all right? Now, this is also aqueous, so that means we have potassium, which is aqueous, right? And potassium, I remember, is um, a plus one because it's in the column one. And we have carbonate, which is minus two because I've memorized it. Well, that's not why, but it's I know it's minus two because I memorized it, okay? So let's, this, and not everything's here, of course. There's a two in front of this. Let me come down here and go back to black. There's a two there. Right? There's a two here because there's two fluorides. There are two potassiums, right? Because of that. Right? And uh, so that's it for that. All right. Now let's go back to reds and let's say, all right. So look, this is solid. So solid means that the silvers and the carbonates are stuck together. Okay. And we have potassiums because it's aqueous plus fluorides right because those are aqueous or by themselves and looks like these uh, there's two of them so there's gonna be two here and two here all right now having said that uh, let's go through and get rid of everything that appears on both sides because this what we're doing here is writing a net ionic equation, right? Not the full ionic equation, the net. So silver does not appear on both sides. This is silver as aqueous, and this is silver that's precipitated as a solid, right? Ah, but this, this appears on both sides. Look at that. Fluoride is it's the same, it hasn't done anything. Ah. It's the same, it must be a spec spectator ion. And if it's a spectator ion, it does not belong in the net ionic equation. All right, what about this potassium? Whoa, that's the same on both sides too. Look at that. It's the, in the beginning. Nothing's changed, right? That's also a spectator ion. All right, what about carbonate? Aha, that precipitated. So you see that is not a spectator ion that does participate in the net ionic equation. All right, so let's go back to, let's go to black now and say, let's write everything that was not crossed off. And that's the net ionic equation. Two silvers, aqueous. All right, took care of that. That's been crossed off, that's been crossed off. Okay, carbonates, it's only one. Right, produces, I took care of that. Silver carbonate. Okay. All right. I guess one last thing I'll say is, it's pot. It's you know, Alex is not going to write the minus two like that. Alex is going to write a minus two like that, and this is supposed to be a plus one. I didn't write it out very nicely. Okay. So I guess that's the only last thing I would say to you is be careful when you're typing this in. You got to make sure you write it the way that that the computer can read it, of course. Okay. So that is the net ionic equation. I hope that's helpful. Look forward to seeing you soon.